This is our audio-visual slideshow for practising geographical and planning research titled The Varying Land Uses of Newport Road. Newport Road is a major road leading from the east end of Queen Street towards the neighbouring city of Newport. The road is approximately 4.8 miles long and runs through six wards, Pontrepennae, Trowbridge, Romney, Adamstown, Plasnewydd and Penelan Ward. The road was built in 1923 for the main use to transport and ship iron from the mouth of the Usk. Since then there has been a great amount of development and new businesses which has led to economic activity along the road. Yeah and Lee state that there is faster land loss along most of the main roads which has been true for Newport Road in the last century. From the 1960s onwards, the road has been one of the prime office locations with merchant banks, high-rise consultancies and outputs of the multinationals which govern the Western world. Some of the original buildings have recently been converted from office use to residential, for example. The exact aspect, the Mercure Holland House. Occupancy of the remaining commercial property has increased, reflecting a shortage of office space in the city and there is now little scope for further conversion. Newport Road is also home of, to several buildings owned by Cardiff University, has the site for the Cardiff Royal Infirmary, Victoria Merchant Residences, a large retail park with food stores, department stores, electrical stores and fast food chains. The Capital Shopping Centre is the point where Newport Road meets the city centre. From this point, obvious changes in the use of buildings and zones can be seen as you travel down Newport Road out of Cardiff. Most uses near the capital centre are shops such as H&M, Greggs and Sainsbury's. Also, high-rise residential apartments and the National Car Park can be seen. These are all similar uses as to what would be found in city centres everywhere across the UK. The next zone is a mixed use of government buildings, businesses and commercial such as Britain's General Union, the Environment Agency, private solicitors, the Market Hotel, Cardiff Institute for the Blind and the Royal Infirmary. The next zone is residential, reflecting Cardiff's most typical housing layout of attached Victorian terrace houses. Some semi-detached larger houses can be seen later on. This also reflects Burgess's model of cheaper high-density housing you know, the CBD. Transitioning into more expensive, less dense, semi-detached housing with a longer distance to travel to the city centre. The further away from the city centre you go, the less dense the buildings become. For example, the 30 floor plus high-rise residential buildings to the semi-detached houses. The buildings are also tightly packed near the centre, yielding maximum economic output and also providing for the high demand of services. But a change can be seen when reaching the end of Newport Road, where the use is large retail shops. These retail shops cover a large distance on Newport Road and range from homeware stores to electronic firms and also food chains such as KFC and McDonald's. There is a wide range of facilities which creates another hub away from the city centre, meaning people may not have to travel into town. This side of Newport Road is also only a short distance away from the M5, providing good access to places such as Bristol and Newport. These types of land use are uniform in most cities, reflecting the popularity of the city centre, zone 1, the demand of housing near the centre, where there are many services and jobs, zones 2 and 3, to a cluster of businesses sh and shops away from the centre, situated on a main road, all in one place, where there is a demand for it representing zones 4 and 5. Another example of this is Exeter Retail Park, showing very similar zones and layouts. As you can see from this map of Exeter, the retail area is out of the centre of Exeter but also not too far away. It is easily accessible from Exeter city centre but also from the motorway. According to Burgess's model, urban growth is a process of expansion and reconversion of land uses with a tendency of each inner zone to expand in the outer zone. So how do Burgess's ideas relate to Cardiff and Newport Road? As we move along Newport Road, we go through transitions from the city centre through to the suburbs and to the out-of-town retail parks. The movement through these different areas can be related back to Burgess's model, originally based on the city of Chicago. The model, as you can see, is circular with the CBD, Central Business District, located in the middle. Then, as you work your way out, the other zones are as follows. Zone 1, CBD. Zone 2, the transition zone of mixed, mixed residential and commercial uses. Zone 3, 
lower class residential homes and inner suburbs in the later decades called inner city. Zone 4, better quality middle, middle class homes, outer suburbs and zone 5, commuter zones, often motorways. <clears throat> We can see that Newport Road also goes through the transitions of different uses in residential areas, explaining why Newport Road is one of the main roads running into or away from Cardiff. Often the CBD expands due to an increase in economic and social factors in the city centre. At the end of Newport Road we can also see the large retail area. This can also be known as out of town retail centres. This is where all the hardware stores are located and restaurants. It also has a large car parking area, allowing for people to drive to and from the shops as car ownership has increased. The shops take up a large area and at a cheaper price than that of these in the city centre. The retail park is also located just off the M5 motorway, so it is an easy access. However, this can also be said in more of a general sense, as Newport Road is one of the main ways of getting into the centre of Cardiff. Both out-of-town retail and Cardiff city centre, however, does not have much competition, as there are only two main city centres in Wales, one being Cardiff, the capital of Wales and secondly Swansea so most of the economic activity is central in the southwest of Wales. <clears throat> Since Newport Road was built it has been one of the main roads into Cardiff with varied land users located along it due to the increase of economic activity. Many other cities have roads similar to Cardiff's Newport Road and them being the prime example of the Burgess's model as it changes its uses from the CBD, central business district, to the outer suburbs and commuter zones. <clears throat>